Hello everyone, I'm Serum Belize and welcome to Banish, which is a game that's primarily based upon strategy and city building. So let's go ahead and begin a new map right over here. And my first town will be called Fairhold. And hopefully things will be fair for us, otherwise I'll be very unhappy. So terrain type, I can go for valleys or mountains. I suppose for now, I actually want to try out mountains, so I'll go down that route. Terrain size will be large, and our climate will go ahead and just be fair for the moment. And I do want disasters on, that way we can find out what will happen to us in time. I mean, sure, things can go well, but who knows? The unholy elements may change that fate. So, starting conditions, that will change things up a little bit. A hard game begins with four families, a small amount of clothing, food, firewood, and tools unprovided. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and go for medium right now, just to begin. So we begin with five families, clothing, food, firewood, tools, and construction materials are, are provided too. We also get a storage barn, and also seeds for fields and orchards. Alright, good. So let's go ahead and begin right now. So now we're going to load on in, and you're going to see, really, what a game can be like when it actually goes down to its roots in the sense of actually being a city building game. I've been waiting for one to come out for quite some time that actually, well, followed its own game type, its own genre. So we're going to be really... Oh, avoiding a tornado. I don't like that idea. <laughs> I'll try to keep that in mind when I'm building my town. Actually, I say that, but I'll probably just end up... Oh, hello. Look at that. It's actually a fairly pretty map. Let's go look at what we have here. We have a nice big lake over here, or pond. Let's see, we have a river that goes down. What else do we have? Oh, it feels very chilly. I mean, I'm just looking at this map and I feel chilly. There's a lot of rocks for me to work with. So the first thing that I need, of course, are homes. So I'm going to go ahead and build some homes. Where shall I build them first? I suppose, really, I don't want to go too far from where I'm at right now, so I'll go ahead and build right over here. So I'll use R and T to rotate. I'll put one right here. I'll put another one right by it, like that, and another one right by it, like that. All right, so now I need people who can build. Let's see, tools and reports, and as you can see, there's a bunch of tabs down here, so I'll keep on looking at that. Town services, oh yeah, well, let's see, food production, resource production, yeah, see, woodcutter and all that good stuff. All right, I'm going to keep on looking real quick. Tools and reports, I need to go ahead and potentially get some workers, so I'm going to click on that house and have two workers now. So they'll be working on that. And they'll be building that too. And we have plenty to work with for the moment. We have 200 firewood, 40 iron. Let's see, less than 80 logs now. And a good bit of stone, but I'm going to need more stone, of course. So let's go on over here. Let's see, remove resource. And I'm going to start working on these stones. There we go. So we're going to be having people now begin to work on their stones. And also trees, hopefully. So they'll be cutting that down. All right, now we can press F1 and go over here and kind of speed things up. As you can see, it's very cold, so we're clearly going to need people to do their things very soon, or we could be in trouble. And here's our little report over here showing the average health of our people and their happiness, too. Who are you? Do I want to hit you? Let's see, that is Shad. He's only 12. How old are the people here? 18? Okay, so we got some older people. We have a fairly young family, though. It's a lot of kids that I'm making work. <laughs> But apparently he's educated too. All right, Kamarik. I'll have to keep you in mind, friend. Kamarik. All right. What else do we have? So we're building the home still, which means that very soon we're going to need some firewood. So let me go to slow things down a little bit. We should have a little bit of food to last, but I'm going to need some firewood now. So let's go over to, let's see, over here. Actually, not over here. I'll have to keep in mind that I'm still new here, and also I have a lot to learn about this. So I'm hoping that I won't, you know, kind of kill off my people too soon anyway. Here we go. Okay, so we have a woodcutter. So I want that to be a little bit closer to woods. We have a fair amount of woods over here. I guess I'll put them a bit closer in that regard. Or maybe he doesn't need to be that close, but I guess we'll go ahead and rotate them. Kind of put them behind this location for the moment. There we go. Alright, so I'm just going to wait for people to go build over here right now. We just need them to get right over here. Okay. And I'll keep looking at what other tabs that I have right now. So, if I go to Tools and Reports, let's see. A log of events that have occurred. Let's see. We also have an, an overhead map. Okay. Oh, it's actually a very nice map. It's a lot of tools that you can use to really see what's going on. And I guess I'll keep speeds at two times, just to, or five times, just to kind of get things rolling. Let's see. A stone house, a boarding house. That's for homeless people. We have roads, too. So, I do want roads for my people. That way, they can quickly move around. I don't know how I'll plan out everything just yet, so I'll kind of keep it as such. Let's see, storage. I already have a storage barn, which is very handy. And the stockpile, too. Very good. I don't need a trading post yet. Let's see, a well, schoolhouse, hospital. We need basic sources for food. 
I have a woodcutter. And let's see, a forest okay, a forester lodge. I could use that too. To work on my trees. And I need a lot of trees, so I'll potentially put that over here. But again, that's for a little bit more of the long term. Alright. So harvest trees, collect stone. I would like for them to collect some more stone, maybe over here. And to cut down more trees would be nice too. So I don't have to select it just like that, but I'll go ahead and do that just to try it out. Collect iron. If they can do that, I'll be happy about that too. So now they're all working. Some people have homes. Oh yeah, that actually fits quite a few people. All right, so I'll begin with that many homes. And what's going on? Oh, they need some people to work on that. So I'll have them work on that right now. We'll have that woodcutter. See, at that point, I'm j I just employed a woodcutter. So he'll begin to work. And I can disable or enable. And it lets you know if you do that. All right. So right now, that's what we have. So I'll probably slow things down for a moment just to kind of get a better look on what I need to do next. So really, I need food and resource production. So a forestry lodge, that's one option. And herbalist would be good too. But for now, I need to look at food. There's a mine, a quarry, food production. A crop field would be nice, but I don't really have a lot of room in this current location if you look at it. Not tons of room for all that. Now, I could use more trees. I could actually clear out this area and expand. So I'll probably end up expanding all down here. Oh, it's auto-saving right now. Yeah, so let's see. We have an orchard, crop field. I'm going to go ahead and build maybe one over here in this area. Just to kind of have it a little bit closer. Oh, hold on. We want it to look appropriate. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and build a 10 by 10 If I can, anyway. Hold on. I, I cannot. Not as I want to. So let's go ahead and wait. And... Hold on. Almost there. Can I do it now? Good. Alright, so there's my little farm. Now I want to go ahead and click on that. And then I'll need people to work on it. Let's go ahead and have people work on that right now. And I want two people to work on it, too. And there's a bunch of tools, too, that you could see. That you can see, like, what you got for your current season and your next one, too. So... There's a lot that you can work with. Now, does that mean they need more homes? So it looks like I might need more homes for my people. So clearly, that's what I'm going to be doing next. And as I said, it's my first home, so it'll take a little bit of time, but I'll get the hang of it eventually. All right, I need one down here as well. And they'll just clear the resources to build that. So let's go ahead and get that rolling. And what I really want is to find out that... Ah, here, here we go. That's exactly the screen that I wanted to put up. Now... Laborers, I have six of those. I have some farmers. I have a woodcutter. And these builders need to go ahead and work on what they're doing. And that's what they're doing. Good. Yeah, I just need people to work on this soon. And I need to choose what they want to grow. I guess we'll go with corn. My cabbages! <laughs> no, we'll, we'll go with corn right now. So they'll begin to work on that. And I have two people assigned to become farmers, so that's what they'll be doing for the moment. Now, orchards would be very good for us to have. I'm going to go ahead and look at that real quick. Let's see. Resource production. Food is, of course, something that we always need. So, let's see. I got a woodcutter over here. I'm going to need more wood, naturally. But we'll wait on that. A forester lodge. I don't want a forester lodge over here. I could potentially just cut through here, make a pathway, and let them regrow trees. Or I could have my forester move elsewhere to, to kind of keep trees up. I have a lot of stone to work with, so that's also very good for me. And it's been very rainy in this area. Goodness. Not sure how pleased I am with that idea. All this rain, man. Alright, so it's almost done there. Alright, we have firewood. I'm going to need more firewood, clearly. And we have logs. I'm going to need a lot more logs. I have stone, too, but let's go ahead and work on that. I'm going to go ahead and start cutting down more trees, or everything up here. A bit like that. I want them all to just kind of cut that down. Alright, collect stone, collect iron. Let's keep on looking. An herbalist, that will help them out with their healing, but I don't need that just yet. A forester lodge. All right, let's see. Where do I want that forest at? I don't want it too close, so I could end up putting it. Can I actually climb up here? I can, I believe. Can I go through these areas? They might be able to. I'll probably have to build a little bridge or something. But I could potentially, okay, I could potentially have it over here. I'll just have to look for that later. All right, a tailor would be good too. We need to work on winter clothing, so that's what I'll do for now. Now I don't want to be too close to the waterway here, as we'll be getting fish from that area, so. Let me go ahead and take a little look. I'll need to clear out more of this area up here in order for me to do that, but I guess we need more homes. I'm assuming that that means that they need a home. Yeah, see that? Okay, so that does mean that. But we're about to build one more home down here, so let's go ahead and kind of speed things up for now. See, I'll press F1, kind of speed it up. All right, almost ready now. 
So we have the basics so far. We have a lot of firewood, a lot of stone, but of course I need more. They're working on that right now. I guess they're trying to pick that stuff up slowly. <laughs> I really hope I can help my people live or I'll be very sad. Oh yeah, we're working on the corn. So I want a bunch of farms close by. I want my food production to be close and hopefully safe. I'm building roads. I need to build more roads, obviously, so let's see. Eventually, I'll know where all the tabs are. Right now, not so much, but ev eventually, I'll be like, yeah, I know where everything's at. Just takes time. Alright, so we're going to go to make some roads. A little bit over here, a little bit over here, maybe over here. We'll keep on moving like that, just to kind of make things a little bit more efficient for us, for our people. Alright, kind of roll down a little bit. Alright, so now we have a series of homes. Almost everyone has a home now, except for one family, from what I can tell. So I'm going to go ahead and build a few more. Now, here's another wooden house that I'll need to have built right now. Done. And that should be all that I really need. Now, let's look at my resources again. We're going to go ahead and slow things down. As you can see, apparently, I'm near capacity for all of the storage that I have right now. So clearly, I need to work on that. Now, in the storage barn, that's where you put your finished products at. I'm running low on iron tools and hide coats. And look at that. Wow. That is beautiful. I like that a lot. All right, so we clearly need another stockpile, at least for right now. I'll need to go ahead and settle that up. Let's see. Collect iron. I don't need that right now. Remove structures. Uh, da, da, da. I did the tutorial, but I guess it takes time to kind of just keep in mind all the things that you need. All right, so here we go. Stockpile. I'm going to go ahead and build a much larger one over here because clearly I need that. Wow. Yeah, we're filled up. But we're really beginning to make headway here. We're beginning to clear things out. We're beginning to really get to where we need to be. All right, so we're building a new home. Now, clearly, I'm going to need some jobs soon. So what I might do is I'm going to have farms in this area here. And I want to have a small amount of homes in this area over here because I, clearly I need people to work in this, I guess, vicinity. So I'm trying to think right now. I might end up having my production buildings over in this area. Now, of course, it's going to expand over time, but for now, this is how it must be. I don't want to kind of sp spread people out too far. All right, let's see. Trading post, I don't need that yet. Here's a market, too. All right, stone roads. I'll have to work on that later. We have enough homes. Oh, actually, again, we need another one. Or no, they're not done with that one yet. I was hoping they would be done. But yeah, here's that new stockpile. They'll begin to bring things down over there. I'm going to go ahead and kind of speed it up. Five times speed. All right, so storage, markets, and trade, roads and bridges. So what we need is the town service, not yet, but actually an orchard would be very good. I want to build one, just not there. I want to have my farms over in that area. So crop field, I could build another one close by, a smaller one even. Let's see. What if I did that? What if I built a 7x7 seven seven right by it? All right, and then I only had... Those two farmers, which is not too bad. Yeah, they're actually providing and getting the food there. So we have a great deal of corn. That's working out for us. We have another stockpile just to kind of get things up. I'll remove it eventually. But let's see. Over here, we want a tailor to make warm clothing. Warm clothing? <laughs> Good clothing. All right, let's go ahead and build that up back over here. Maybe behind our little storage area. Very good. Now I'm going to want to build that road back up. So let's see. My roads are over here. A dirt road for now. Build that up over here. Very good. So things have been relatively productive so far. I want cabbages in that area. I mean, we need vegetables. We need a variety of foods to stay healthy. That's how we'll do it. All right, let's keep on looking. So what I need next is a pasture, though not yet. A fishing dock would also be very good. And over time, my people will expand, we'll have more food and more families, and we'll be happier for it. Yeah, see, that's why I wanted to make some room down over here. I'll kind of keep that a little bit closer to my area of production, like right over here. All right, now, how are my resources so far? I have logs. I don't have enough logs, though, now. Okay. Now, my woodcutting area... Oh, those trees are dying off. I guess the weather will be bad soon. I'll have to keep that in mind. So what I want is my forest lodger. I want him to be maybe down here. I want him over here. And I want two people, or as many people as I can have, have this role. I just need that built first, and then we'll have him go down that route. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and continue to remove trees all over. So let's go ahead and go over here, remove these trees. Hold on, I just only want the trees for now. 
we'll remove everything over here as far as trees go. And then the stone. So we're really just clearing out the whole just grouping. Pretty soon we'll be ready to go ahead and have a lot more materials, as you can see. We have a lot of that. A lot of iron. Whoa! That's going to help us with tools and everything else that we need. That's certainly very beneficial. Alright, so everyone has a home. I just need someone to work over here. Let's see. Two out of two. One out of two. I'll need more people to work in this field. I probably have too many locations, so I might actually end up canceling this. So let me go ahead and look at that. Cancel removal. Remove structure. I'm going to remove that for now. I don't feel as though we have enough people employed. Let's see. Farmer, woodcutter. Builder, laborer. Farmer, builder. Laborer, laborer. So I guess I do. I just have a lot of laborers, so I suppose I do have the room for it. But let's see. I want to focus on building this right now, which I have the iron and logs for it, thankfully. So pretty soon we'll be in a great place. It's really a relaxing game to play too. I like it. Just hearing the music and just managing the lives of my people. I wonder how much more will be added to it, such as maybe politics, infrastructure that goes on beyond a small town. Uh, there's Cole. She's 16. She's getting something to eat. Fortunately, we have corn, but it looks like we're getting relatively low upon that. So now I'm learning that we might have a shortage of food. That could be a huge issue. Winter's here right now. And apparently, my people need a lot more food than I had anticipated. So, I guess we'll handle those affairs next. It's currently winter. Things will be potentially very grim soon if I don't get enough food. I expected that alone to suffice, but I suppose not. Huh. Our first winter will be very grim then. At least I'm learning. At the cost of potential lives. But for now, I'm going to end things here. So, I shall see all of you later. And as always, until then.